my babies. Hey, my love loved. The day has been well spent and it's been a great day. I feel a little tired, but I'm okay. Just have to get rest because because you have so much work just upon our hearts and upon my heart and upon our hearts, etc. To do, to build and to populate the kingdom of the almighty God. And I just want to say to you all personally from my heart that, um, you know, the touring has started back, uh, the book tour, or should I say, um, the tour, what make Christmas so hypocritical tour has started back. Um, I'm so grateful that God is networking us with such great people, mighty men and women of God. I mean, they're foreseeing what God has been saying all the while that, uh, the tour is about, you know, educating the mindset of people, enlightening their spirits to understand the truth that we cannot live in a natural world and be all spiritual. That means it causes you to be so unbalanced that you will know how to embrace other people because God said, listen up, I know your heart, but the world will know you by your love, the love that's in our hearts. And that means that we embrace everybody. It doesn't matter. If I could just hold you in my arms and just tell you how much I love you, that matters to my heart. Because sometimes all it takes is just one kind word, a one simple hug, just to say, I love you. But God love you most. And that's so true. So therefore, we're going to postpone it. Uh, we're going to be uh, taking off the tour. And, you know, since I've been in the, um, you know, it's been a very bad uh, car accident. And I was on rest for like six weeks. So I had to kind of like put everything on hold. But nothing happened without purpose. And always see things, you know, through a positive eye. To know that God, when you're serving God, from your heart, you will know that nothing could accidentally happen to you or coincidentally. It's because of the fact you are in the Lord's perfect will. God loves you. Oh, I can sense the heart of God, the heartbeat of God, how he just surrounded you with his love, with his peace. I could just sense the heartbeat of can you just feel the love of God in your heart? He's in your heart, the spirit of you. He's in your heart. And this is why, you know, God helped me to in the world. Um, going to like five different states from Tennessee, Alabama, Florida. And it's just been so many of it then. But, you know, it's really just not to me like, hey, <laughs> it's like, okay, you just started. But no, you know, we've been, you know, working toward the goal. 
you know, building and populating the kingdom of God and just letting everybody know how much God loves you all so, so much. It doesn't matter your race, your color, your culture. It just doesn't matter. God loves you, whether you gay, straight, whether you alcohol, love, it don't matter. God loves you anyhow. And God didn't tell us to be you. You got it, baby? It's okay. God didn't tell us, you know, to, you got it, I don't know which word is it. But God, the Bible didn't, just, just, I have it, if you can't find it. Yeah, I got it. You, you all okay, just hold for a second. Oh, no, you're good, baby. You're good, you're good. See, that's how you have to handle situations in life. When things uncomfortable happen, you know what I'm saying? When things uncomfortable happen, there you go. Yeah, you have to know how to react to situations, you know, like, hey, you see the little incident that's happened just like that? It's like because of the fact you react to it in faith and in love, it just it just opened the heart of God. Heart just opens up so beautifully and just takes care of everything that's out of your control. Simple as that. So with that being said, you know, I always see things, you know, through the, you know, positive attitude, you know, through the eyes of faith and knowing God. Nothing accidental happens to true children of the Lord. And much as I love you, I can't love you more than my father because my father loved all of us. And like I was saying, you know, this is why God, you know, is doing this. But I'm so excited that other other groups are coming aboard and, you know, just seeing the vision of what God is doing and populating his kingdom. I'm so excited about that. But I want, uh, first of all, to say that... Uh, we're going to have to reschedule. Well, I was talking about the accident. Um, but the defeat of all don't get no glory. God allowed it happened for purpose because who knows? I could have needed a new rest, you know? But that's okay. Here I am, you know? Just, just doing even better. How about that? But um, uh, the touring, you know, has started back again, like I said. Uh, the, our first stop... Uh, it's going to be in New Orleans this Saturday, but we're going to have to postpone it because of the fact of the weather. That is said, it's going to be uh, rainy and, all, you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, and it's, it's because of the weather. So we got to be wise. We can't be so spiritual until you're foolish. You know, some people just get saved and just throw their soul out the window and they don't realize the soul deals with the intellectual reasons. You know what I'm saying? And all the things of the earth, things of natural. And that's why you got to get that book. You know, this book here, I'm not even promoting the book right now. I'm just giving you a little wisdom. You know, this book here was written by the Lord God, God himself. He's given me the given me a wisdom that he has have not given any other human. That's why this book is changing lives all over the world. And if you don't have your copy, you make sure that, you know, you get your copy. You call TBN. If you got to blow that line, that line up, you call TBN of the Trilogy Publishing Company, which is their pub published company, excuse me, that, um, that they're the one that published the book, you know. You got to call all day long. You tell them, I need my copy, and I need my copy now. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can go to bookstores, up in Barnes & Noble, or... You know, Books and Millions, or Amazon, you can get the book, and it's, and it's really uh, rated in a five-star. But uh, to say that is to say this, like, I'm so grateful you all. Yes, I am. I'm a little bit physically, like, tired. been gone all day. My kids, uh, I, I, I forgot totally, but though my babies, uh, gradu the graduation was today uh, at Southern Lab. I have, like, five different kids that go to my grandkids, okay? Uh, the Southern Lab and had two of my babies graduated and I was I'm glad my son reminded me. I'm like, he said, Mama, I'm like, oh God, let me get up. So really I've been gone all day long. So just a little bit, you know, physically, whatever. A little drained, but you know, but I'm, I'm not too drained where I can't come and tell you how much I love you and I appreciate you and I thank you so much. Thank you for your love, your prayers, your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your sharing and your likes and putting those stars there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. My heart is full, full of love just for you. But again, um, we're postponing it by the wisdom and the grace of God. Uh, Saturday, uh, we'll be, we'll, we were going to be in New Orleans. Uh, again, we did New Orleans once. Look, we, 
so many people are really, really, really seeing truth and seeing the light and seeing, you know, like what it means, you know, how the power, what the power of love really means. I can't explain this it. because it's, it's supernatural stuff. I could talk to you all all day. I promise you I can. I just love you so much. I love the Lord. But uh, to you all, you know, all of us, you know, that we're going to be gathered together to go to New Orleans this Saturday. Please pass the word on that um, it has been postponed due to the, uh, the weather. It's going to be a little bad weather on uh, Saturday. Now, this coming Saturday. So, you know what? I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm talking to the people that I need to talk to. I'm like, okay, let's be wise about this thing. We're going to um, reschedule New Orleans. But Shreveport, you know, is next week. So, we're looking forward you know, to you. Shreveport will be coming to you. You know, just watching the power of God just move, you know, on our behalf. And bringing forth the balance and the love at the same time. So, and then after that, Dallas, you know, we're coming to you after that. So, you know, just keep us in prayer because the work just don't stop. And I want to say this here, how much I love you. And uh, Andrea Johnson, mm -hmm. I love you so much, my darling. You know, she's part of the ministry. That's my baby. That's one of my sheep. And, and that's what I've been trying to tell you all for so long that, you know, hey, don't let nobody tell you that you can't have, you cannot have a ministry inside of a ministry. Well, Pastor Style, how does that work? It's just so simple. If everybody knew this, they would stop being so confused and discombobulated and crazy and like, oh, my, my pastor don't want me. Shut it up. Shut it up. It's foolish. No. You can have a ministry in a ministry. And how that goes by wisdom is that only thing is different is that in your ministry you have to submit to the ministry that you're in. And it just call it is called order. You know, God does not move where there's no order. It's order. You can have you could be operating in your ministry. So many of you all could be could have been operating in your ministry. Oh my God. Only difference is, is that your ministry submit. To the ministry that you're in, uh, uh, to your leader, to, you know what I'm saying? The person that's in authority, you know, your pastor, you know. But it, it would not do anything, you know, to be uneffective. It would only be effective because God be all of us. And I'm so proud of my baby, uh, Andrea Johnson. I love her so much. Um, uh, her ministry teamed up, you know, with the Purchase Style Ministry, which uh, Purchase Style Ministry goes on, you know, from tour, state to state, city to city, tour, and what make Christmas super critical. And Andrea Johnson is her name. She's my baby. She's my sheep. And she's effectively operating in her ministry. I'm just so full, y'all. I'm happy. I ain't like tired as I was. I'm just like, like a breath, like a Fresh breath of wind just hit me. But anyway, Andrea, I love you so, so, so much. I love you. We had a meeting last night. It was a real, real, real good meeting. Love that. All um, the ladies came out. We discussed, talked things over. And then you're getting people, you know, to come in, to network with you. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. It, you know, it doesn't matter what your culture, your color. It doesn't matter if you're rich or you're poor. It doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. It just network with us. That's all. Just to reach, you know, people all over the world. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go overseas. I mean, just to just keep pushing this gospel. But back to Andrea Johnson. I love her so, so, so much. Um, the name of her ministry is Ease. I thought that was so God. Oh, my God. Her, uh, Andrea, if you're listening, your pastor loves you so much. I'm so proud of you. And I'm proud of you how you you know, allow God to use you to be effective in showing other people, you know, the true, the true meaning. Hey, you can be effective and you can work in your ministry, you know, in a ministry. Remember, God don't have two heads. That's why you submit to the ministry that you're in, to the authority, you know, of the ministry that you're in. And it works so beautiful. Listen to it. It works so beautiful. But anyway, the name of her ministry, Andrea, I love you so much. The name of her ministry is Ease, E-A-S-E. -E. Wow. I'm like, girl, where you get that from? Well, I know it had to come from the Lord. And but that's the acronyms of it. But let me give you the meaning of it. Empowering all sisters everywhere. 
Oh my God. So therefore, you know, um, as the, um, what make Christians so hypocritical, you know, touring go on, then that's focusing straight on that. And then when it's time for her ministry, you know, to be, you know what I'm saying, to whatever they're doing, and guess what? All the focus go right to ease. Because why? Because the fact God is a God of order and balance, no confusion, no division. This is simply, purely the love of God. And if you knew how much I love you, my heart is pop, just, I'm just pounding in my heart right now. You know why? Oh my God, because the person of the Lord is so real and so true. He teaches you all truth. And I've been for years like, Lord, this word that you've given across the pulpit, don't just be a pew sitter. Operate in your calling. Operate in your ministry. Go to your leader. Tell your pastor what God is doing in you and through you. Let them know. It, it's so simple. The only thing is, remember, God don't have two hands. So that's why you go to your to your leader. And what happens is that your ministry submit to the ministry that you're in. And what happens is that everybody be as one. And to get the job done, remember what I always tell you all. Ain't nobody important but Jesus. People may think they're important, but they're not. They're not important. Ain't nobody important but Jesus. So I just want to give that big shout out to my daughter, my spiritual daughter, Andrea. I love you so much. And I just want to encourage you all, you know, hey, go, go, to, go to your leader. Let them know. Because if I had sheep beget sheep, not shepherd, no, sheep beget sheep. And once you're taught, it's up to you to take the word, spread the word, come on, and just see the glory of the Lord manifest, him, manifest himself. Never call the Father a it. Never call Christ it. Never call the Holy Spirit a, a it. Now, it is he. <laughs> oh, now. I love you all so, so, so much. And as you notice that, you know, me being who God brings me to be, very open-minded, very liberated, free spirit, variety. I try to teach you all that even in this book, it'll teach you, you know, that you're not all, you're not all spiritual because you're saved. So many to be so unbalanced and crazy. And I, oh, just, but you know what? Walking with the Lord all these years, you understand so much. It's like a veteran, you know what I'm saying? But no, it, it, it takes time. Everybody's on different levels. And it takes time for growth. And it's a process. And, and you got to know, you know, how to just guide them into it so they can grow, right? Okay? To be where you are in the Lord, too. Because there are many things that you can experience and you're going to experience that others right now you know, are not on that level to experience. So you got to walk in, in that wisdom as Paul said, listen up. If then meat offend your brother. In other words, then you like, you eat meat and then like and they're they're baby christians and, and it's gonna affect their growth in the lord paul said chill just don't eat it in front of them <laughs> not that you can't have it just don't do it in front of them wait till they get mature enough where they can understand all these different things but what's the thing let me let you go it's been a long, good day. Oh, my God. My baby's graduated today from our Southern Lab. I'm so excited. My son and Boca, his wife, they're doing an awesome job with my grandkids. So is Chandra Palmer and Willie. Awesome job with my grandkids. And I'm waiting on my princess. She's going to wait on too. Like, I want me a little girl. <laughs> but that'll come in God's timing. But... Said all that, just to let you know that, hey, Saturday, you know, it's going to be um, postponed. And, you know, uh, once again, our Lord grace us next week. You know, we're looking to be in Shreveport. Then after that, you know, we're looking to be in Dallas already, you know, making made the plans and got everything, you know, structured in order from the Lord. But I love you all so much. And, hey, you want to network? Hey, you go to a uh, Bridges Star Ministry. Uh, either you go to uh, the E's Network. Um and John, the only thing you're doing is just empowering one another. 
men and women. We all are one. I love y'all so much. Learn to embrace everybody, please. They, they need you. People need you. They need what you have. They need that love. They need that hug. They need those kind of words. They need you to say, I love you. That's why Paul said that the compassion that was shown to me, God has graced me to show it to others. God drew us by his love. You know, love, love people. Love them. I don't care who they are. Everybody was looking at me one day because of this, this issue. I don't call it problems. I call it issues. The drunk man, he was so drunk. He was slobbing everywhere. And I thought, well, what did you do by God's grace? I went and grabbed that man. And I called that man. I said, I love you so, so, so much. And don't you know that that played a major part in his life of coming to Christ? That's what God wants. Oh, see, God is exposing all fake folk. In fakeness, he, it's like this is the year of truth. God's revealing truth from the top to the bottom. He's only taking those who have a pure heart, genuine, the love for real. Ain't no joke. Because if you got a reason to, a reason to love, you don't love. That's not love. If you feel like you have a reason to love. Because I pay your house no car note or just take you out to dinner. Love don't never have a reason. Love just love. No matter what. I know I stay longer than I thought I was, but I had to share that with you all. Ministry of love. I cry a lot because I'm grateful to have you. And be your spiritual mother. I love you all so much. Mother's Day. You all showered and blessed your little leader with so much love. It's just so much you all did. You know. I'm so grateful. Never take nothing for granted. Always be grateful. I love you all so much. I really, really do. If I don't have, you know, even though I, I, let me tell you what they did. I was so excited, right, to go get my eyes done, right, the eye surgery. So, oh, I ain't going to need no glasses no more. Shoot. You better put them bad boys on the real. Like, oh, like, I had to learn that. Like, I thought I would just go, like, I, like, I free. <laughs> so much once again hey i know it's funny huh but um once again hey you know you know hey you know join in what god is doing it's you know what i'm gonna let you go after this when god told me like this i was writing because of fact you know you hear god speak and you write because if you don't write it that defeated defeated demon trying he will steal it but you gotta write okay all right and he was sharing me he said listen up he said uh it's a movement but it's more than a movement i said no what are you talking about he said, movement, a movement, it's a force. I said, okay. He said, but I have a sign for you all to move forward. I said, okay. I'm like, okay, well, what are you saying? He said, we coming together as one has become a force to move forward, to do what's been a sign that God has a sign to be done on earth. Oh, my Lord, fail. Like, oh my God. Nobody talk like that but my father. But once again, I just want to say I love you so much and, and just want to just kind of like reiterate it. I know it's going to be out there and you're going to be seeing it, but once again, uh, the Bridge Star Ministry, our Ministry of Love, uh, which you know, Bridge Star Ministry, once again, it's just like, you know, hey, one, okay? Come on, come on. Uh, that uh, the touring you know, has started back up. And we were going to hit New Orleans this week, but because of the fact of the bad weather, uh, you have to use common sense. Don't just get saved and throw your common sense out the window. <laughs> yeah, you 
you, 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 you won't make it if you try to be all spiritual in a natural world because you know you have two worlds you have a spirit world and a natural world and with this book i swore to you it's a fast reader i now forgive when i was on the phone with um with TV, with TV and uh, I'm not the editor, whoever it be. Uh, I was on the phone. I mean, I mean, they must have called me like three, four different times before the book got to where it's at, right? But anyway, <laughs> it was so funny that um, I was sharing them the wisdom that God had given to me in this book, and it was like an hour, and I literally had to say, uh. Are you still there? And uh, the person on the other end said, Miss Mia, Miss Mia, I'm here. I, I, I'm just listening to, to what you're saying. Well, it was the wisdom of the Lord that was being given. And they understood the difference. And just take it to a higher level. That's all, spiritually. That's what it's all about. I love you so much. So, hey, okay, network with us, okay? You know, never with us, but you know, just get involved, see what's going on. You know, begin, you know, like, hey, let's just push this thing forward and let's go. Because mm -hmm. you'll know that, uh, you're still working on the movies, so much going on, but it's good. And you must understand this that when God gives you assignments and, and you may be saying, Lord, it's just so hard, I don't know what to do, I don't know nobody, I don't and I did, you know, Moses, be quiet, okay? Because of the fact that if God did not know that you could get the job done, he would have never, ever, ever given it to you. So apparently he knows you could get the job done. That's why I trust in him. That's the level of what God is walking with us in. Things that's bigger than you and me. But that's when he gave greater glory. And then let me tell you, did you not know that Jesus could have went and, and, and checked on Lazarus while he was sick? Check this out now. Did you not know that Jesus got the word that Lazarus not died first? He got the word that Lazarus was sick. And he could have went there when Lazarus was sick. He said, nah, just let him die. God wants some greater glory. He just don't want to go and say, he'll sit. He want to raise this brother up from the dead. I read the Bible. And that's when the sister was like, you know, you know, if you would have been here, you know, my brother would not have died. But remember, the news was first that he was sick. And Jesus, that's a bad man. Jesus is a bad, that's a bad boy. I ain't lying. He's like, Sick, tell him die. God gonna give him more glory, and that's what happened. He died, and he said, Ah, he, he's not dead long enough. One day, oh, he's not dead long enough. Two days, oh, he's not dead enough. Three days, he, he's just not dead enough. And then Jesus decided he was dead, dead enough. <laughs> then when he said, Okay. Bad Paul, I'm telling you. Where y'all lady? In the tomb, Lord, he speak. What, what, where y'all lady? In the tomb, with the, take me where he at. Lazarus, come forth. Boy, I felt that. That's almost like the Lord told me. Keep moving forward. And this is the Lord telling you. Keep moving forward. Gonna be all right. Certain decisions that you've made in your life, and you thought that that decision caused the worst of the worst. No, it did. No, it did. God just wanted more glory. That's all. He's gonna give you triple back what you thought that was taken from you. He's gonna give it back to you. I want you to receive the greater of God's restoration. He loves you so much. Just receive the greater. Of his restoration. Or oh, whatever. You see when I say that. Enemy defeated. I put defeat before that devil's name. Okay. Don't never give him the props. Of, of being, they call him my name. No you're lying devil you. Defeated lying devil. Say that 
talk to him like that. He began trembling his boots. <laughs> but I love you all so much. Let's pray before we go off the air. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much, Father, that the glory of the Lord has been revealed unto your people, Lord God, and you being glorified right now, the praise and the honor, Lord God, that you have, Lord God, has grace, Lord God, to operate in our lives, that we give it all back to you because all praise, honor, and glory belong to you. Lord, we think it that we're like the little servants on the earth, Lord God, even as Christ Jesus walked the earth, he was God in the flesh. He said, all these things that I do, I do it to glorify my Father. Lord, I thank you that every Thing that you're calling us to do and, and having us to do is only and only purpose is to glorify your name. They be thy glorified. Now, Lord, I know it brings glory to your name that the sick get healed and the deaf can hear and the blind can see and the dead man raise. But Lord, how about just a hug to our brothers and our sisters? That's just as that's that's just as great as blind eyes open. Love is a powerful thing, you all. Every time you you walk out as a conqueror, I'm a living witness because you love. You know, I, I remember I, I wanted to just want to be disciples, and the Lord just looked at him and said, "There's no evil in him; his heart is pure. He he knows you, and, and he." Change the world with those children. He calls his, with his kids. I go to him as a baby, not as a grown woman, as a baby. That means you're humble, you yield, submit, and you surrender to your father. And God began to whisper things in his spirit and free you from whatever may be. But we thank you right now. We denounce every demonic force. We denounce every plot of the enemy. We denounce every plan of the enemy. We come against the works of the devil. We curse every principality. We curse every rule of darkness. We curse all the works of the enemy. We say in Jesus' name, you are not just a liar, Lucifer. You are what you call an eternal defeated liar. For the blood of Jesus has already paid the price and set us free. We are free in our mind. We are free in our bodies. We are free in our spirits. We are free in the name of the Lord. And we release this love upon your people, the freedom of, upon your people, the peace upon your people. Upon, uh, Lord, we, Lord we, we are assigned to reach the lost. And those are the ones that don't know the Lord like you know him. Don't stop shutting the door on on people. So what? The LGBT, whatever you, it don't matter. The LGBT, I love y'all so much. Drunk, you drunkers, I love y'all so much. How, how about the whores? What you mean, the whores? Rahab was a whore. And she, she, she was inducted in the Hall of Fame. I have in a place in a position of the Messiah coming to earth. So therefore, hey, guess what? We are who we are. Through by the blood of Jesus, he makes us whole. He ain't to change folks. And did you change you by yourself? Joseph? Just plug it back up, Joseph. It's gonna be around. I'm about to get off. Have to learn to operate under pressure. <laughs> but yeah, Rahab was inducted in the Hall of Fame of Jesus Christ coming to the earth, the Messiah. What? Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> Judah slept with a daughter in law tomorrow, and, and here it is, Ruth the Moabite. And I'm just crazy. Love people, throw your arms around them, love them. Every human being is capable of doing any, every, and all things. But the blood of Jesus has kept us and forgiven us. Because if it wasn't for his blood and his love, ain't no telling where we'll be right now today. So I, I, I speak to you. If you're in prison right now, you may be behind bars, but you're not in prison in the spirit. The Lord is with you. And I just see God opening doors for you. 
just walking in his freedom and in his love. I don't care who you are. If, if you, may, you may have to know I've, I've failed you so many times. He said, but yeah, he said, but I will not allow nothing to outweigh my glory. That means that no matter what happened in our lives, God, God's grace and his love and his glory outweighs all of that. And we say we love you, Father. We love you. I can't wait to sign out and go get my little self some rest. Cause I'm telling you, I'm, I'm just like, oof. But not enough to where I couldn't come and tell you, I love you so much. Allow God to use you. Allow God to use your gift that's in you, because we have them. And you just, the pastor said, I know what I'm supposed to do. What kind of gift is I want? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -mm. Pay attention and listen closer to your spirit. Because whatever God called you to do, you're going to know it. It's in your spirit. You become sensitive to it. It's in your spirit. And you're like, wow. Like when I was six years old, it was in my spirit. And I went to my mom. And I said, Mom, I said, uh, I'm going to be a teacher one day of the, of the Bible. And you know how my mother's back in those days. And she would watch me pray and read my Bible. And she, she was so gentle with it. She said, Baby, she said, Can you give Mama the Bible? She said, Because Mama don't want her baby to go crazy. I said, Mama, I'm not going to go crazy. I was a child. And she said, just give it to Mama. Because I was reading and reading and reading. But after a whole year, watch this though. When she took the Bible from me that year, God himself started talking to me. And then after that, when I got the Bible back and looked at it, I was screaming and howling and why? Because I'm looking at what Jehovah is a spirit, but you see him as a spirit person. And he teaches you all these things. And I, was, I was so like, oh my God, mama, 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 this is what he said to me, mama, mama. He was talking about Bible to me and I didn't even have the Bible. You're going to react to a situation? React to it in faith. And say, so you know what? God is on my side. And the Lord be for me. I fear not what's against me. And then you're going to say, the Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want. And I shall not want for nothing good. God loves Bridget. Let me hear you call your name. He loves you too. <laughs> we are his children. I want you to go. And if you are to have a place of fellowship, ministry love doors are always open. Uh, that's a South Tomorrow Drive. If you are me with the Sheriff Forest area, you will know where that's at. But uh, it's 1129 South Tomorrow Drive in the Great City of Adams, Louisiana. Uh, we did, uh, we, uh, we were once on Hooper Road. Uh, God graced me, you know, by his permission, you know, to sell it. He sold a building, not his name. His name is still the Ministry of Love, you know. But things happen for purpose. How about that? And this is what God looks at me. He looks at your heart. He looks at your heart. And if you want to know truth, then you, you come, uh, come to your leader or go to your leader and say, Tell me truth. I swore you here tell you truth. But anyway, you're more important than anything. Walk in his glory and his goodness all day long, all week long. I love you all so much. 
at Lil J and Lil PJ the third. They graduated today from South Atlanta. So proud of my babies. They are such good parents. The daddy, my son, PJ, Pastor P, that military. He think he's my doggone daddy. Mama, pull that dress down. I will take it off. Boy, I'm your mama. Nah, I'm not. Did you see? Tried to say that you're the wife, right? <laughs> I said, boy, you better take that military set for yours and sit down somewhere, boy. I'm your mama. But I respect him so much because of the fact he has so much love in his heart. And when he speak it, he speak it in love. Because he love from his heart. I just want to say I love you all so much. I love you. Pray for your children. Pray for your grandkids. Pray. That's a huge protection around all of you all. You can't let them get in. Princess, my baby daughter, you know I love you. Chandra, my older daughter, you know I love you. I'm just so, so, so grateful. You know I have a god baby, uh, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, you know Mama I love you so much. He calls me nanny. I just want to just check on you. Just how you doing? And he know Jamie and Nanny love you so much. But I love you all. I'm like, I gotta go. All these kisses. Tell cry you and I'll be missing your little white behind. Yeah, I see your little boy and tell cry you see your little self. I love him. She, why does she want to be a lover? I don't give a hell if you Jamaica black as you want to be a hell. I'm still a lover. Because <laughs> my family's so mixed with, 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 with who? Portuguese, Spanish, Caucasian, Jamaica, Indian, church. <laughs> my, my mother, mother was a real Cherokee. So we all like, ooh. <laughs> I love y'all. I really don't want to let you go, but I'm going to have to. Because I really just got to take some time to rest. I love y'all so much. Mm -hmm. Keep it moving like the word of God in action. The work of the Lord in action. Bye. Love y'all so much. Love you. Yeah, I do. Don't finish. You all can log off anytime you want. I try so hard to let you all understand the varieties of life. Like, I, I love a variety of foods, a variety of music. It just depends on some time. I mostly have like, a mood on me, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I like to just sit down to quiet jazz, or maybe. See, that's why the books are important for you to have. And sometimes, you know, I listen to just straight RB. It's just the lyric. You pay attention to the lyric. Don't let no anything come in your ears, okay? Pay attention to the lyrics. But understand that, that you can enjoy your life to the fullest and be happy. You could dance. You got Jesus make, you listen, he made food for the natural, food for the spirit. Clothing for the natural, clothing for the spirit. Music for the natural, music for the spirit. You get this book in your hand, I swear to you, you'll stop like, looking at, and you will not, you'll be doing this here like, Oh, let me close the blind. Then let me show what you're going to do. Let me show how you do it. Let me talk. Oh, let me talk. Let me talk. And you be trying to, oh, you know how you open them up. They just open up. You know what I'm saying? You open this back. This is not no blind. But still, you know, you be like, open up. And then like, oh, let me shut them. Let me shut them. Let me, me shut them. Shut them. Please. All right, time for all that.
love. I've been trying to get on water. I just didn't enjoy myself. <laughs>